says severe weather alert, actually, a winter storm warning. What? For the, I don't know, I guess it's, wow. Because I know before it said maybe like some flurries. Now it's saying winter storm warning remains in effect now from 4 a.m., 4 p.m. So basically all day kind of kicking off overnight. Oh, no. It says, yeah, it's like heavy snow expected up 6,000 feet. And I'm 7,000 feet up now. Hi. All right, see all right. you tomorrow, man. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, all right. Take care of all that stuff quickly. I will. Love you. And there it is. All right, so I filled up the tank with gas, picked up some groceries, and now we're heading back up to Fletcher View. We had a great holiday uh, weekend, had a great holiday uh, down in Las Vegas, and it was great. So now we're heading back up to Fletcher View to kind of just soak in some more of the winter wonderland that's up there. We really do enjoy winter camping, get some work done up there, but I'm heading up right now by myself. So Dave is actually taking the car, which we had an appointment to get service. So he's doing all that stuff, getting service and taking care of some errands. Um, and we'll come up tomorrow. So I got the kitties with us who are hiding. Bailey was just sitting up front here. So we're gonna get there. I'm gonna set up by myself. Wow, I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna make him proud. I'm gonna back into that spot perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna make him proud. So the last time I drove this desert snow on my own was when we were testing the heat out. I think I went to the Valley of Fire. I was kind of testing out the heat before we had a big trip coming up and I ran into a few little hiccups in the beginning but ended up being a great test minus the heat actually working now we know the heat works that's flawless so this time it's kind of weird it's still very weird not having like dave by my side and it's just weird you know especially driving this by myself and it's fine i mean i'm comfortable driving desert snow at this point but oof sometimes it's nice having your man next to you in case you know something goes wrong which we hope is not gonna happen today all right, so we're not too much farther, about 2,000 more feet to climb. We're at 5,000 feet in elevation. And I'm already noticing like it's windier than the last time we were up here. And you can definitely see a lot more snow on the mountain, which is gonna be nice. So should be wonderful. Oh, he's gonna really love this. I think it's gonna be a, a fun experience to kind of be up there and I'm, I'm just gonna be more snow. Oh, that is cloudy central. All right, we better be careful. Oh, those clouds, how low those clouds are. <laughs> I just passed 6,000 feet in elevation. All right, 6,000 feet up in elevation. The clouds are really low right now. I can see they're low. Ooh, are we in for something? Because it looks, and I have a weird keen sense. It smells like a snowstorm. I don't know, just. All right, we are arriving here at Fletcher Campground and it looks a lot different today than it did the last time we are here. It actually looks like the clouds are really low and we may be in for a snowstorm. It looks like there was snow already. Wow, boy oh boy. Fun times, coming up. All right, I think the host is off duty, so I am gonna have to do this. First come, first serve, four. Yay, we'll take four. <laughs> Let's park this puppy. I am just, what? This is like, oh he, oh, um, this is, what this is awesome i did it one one take <laughs> i'm in i'm in i did it i did it high five high five high five high five wow like that that's like one of the benefits of having a smaller rig like this because what i did it but let me show you this park job hold on let's go outside all right see look at that Look at that park job. There's my power. There's desert snow. There's my little picnic-ish area, which right now looks totally drenched. And so maybe it was raining. Might have been some rain up here. Snow mixed with rain, but that is such a great park job. All right, enough with the weather report. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is right now. Although the clouds are awfully low, but I am close to the bathroom, which is nice. And they're heated. So yay. Good call for that. All right, time to set up. It's gonna be interesting, right, Macy? So look at her, she's so excited. It's gonna be very interesting today getting set up because we are such a routine. Dave and I have our own routine getting things set up that it's almost natural to start doing it that way. Now that I'm gonna be doing all of the setting up, it's gonna be interesting to see how we get this done. You ready? Oh, are you so ready to help me? Oh, you, oh, she's ready. Let's set up. Oh, mommy's little princess. Hi. She's excited, you see the snowy snows. The snowy snowies. You like the snowy snowies? 
I like the snowy snowies because you like the snowy snowies. <laughs> Cutie. All right. Before we get set up, Princess Bailey needs her water. She's like, yeah, I want some cold water. Yep, our cats, they drink, bring water. <laughs> See? And she loves it. Hi, Koobies. So I'm gonna put up some lights, just to have a little bit more light at night here. But before I put out anything else, like the rugs or my tablecloths, I better check the weather first, because if it's gonna like rain, that's the last thing I wanna get soaking wet are my uh, rugs as well as my tablecloth. So it is freezing though. It's probably dropped another two degrees right now. So it's like 35. It's cold. All right, I better get the inside going. snacks bring you out huh you want a snacky time for tindin okay so before i pour myself a glass of wine kitties are now fed i am just gonna take a walk to see if there's any neighbors here you know just to know who's here because right now it is just moi i have not seen the host which says he's host off duty he's not here and so far every spot is empty so maybe they know something i don't like maybe we shouldn't be here <laughs> Of course, keep your eyes peeled because I'm by myself and it's getting dark. So we don't want to roam too far. Not one person here. So January 3rd, someone's supposed to be here. First to the third, so they're already gone. It's close to the bathroom, but look, there's not one soul here. That's going all the way down. Oh my goodness. And those mountains that you before you could see, completely covered. Temperature's definitely dropping. So we might get some snow. Oh man, I definitely feel like I should get back there. Pour myself a glass of wine. Okay, I'm going back. Far enough, there's no one here but moi right now. So it's time to wine. W-I-N-E, down. Maybe that host will come here, because if he doesn't, who's gonna be digging us out? I don't have a big enough shovel. Eh, let's not worry about that. First wine. All right. All right, let's give Dave a call. See where we are at with the weather, because let's see if we're right. Hey, so okay, so I'm sitting here with a glass of wine now, and I am curious to know, can you tell me what is the weather going to look like up here? Because I smell snow. <laughs> yeah, well, hold on, let me look. Yeah, I'm curious because um, I came up here and it just seems awfully, the clouds are really low. It's cold. Wow. It's like 38 degrees when I got here. Yeah, I'm just looking. Oh my God, there's a, uh, it says severe weather alert, actually, a winter storm warning. What? The, I, know, I guess it's wow because I know before it said maybe like some flurries now it's saying winter storm warning remains in effect now from 4 a.m 4 p.m so basically all day kind of kicking off overnight oh no it's, yeah it's like heavy snow expected above 6,000 feet and I'm 7,000 feet up now yeah and it says between it's above 7,000 it says 6 to 15 inches oh my With god wind gusts, wind gusts could be pretty high too damn See seriously oh man i think i should probably i took out like the uh chair and i was gonna like start think about at least starting a fire um but i don't think i'm gonna do that tonight i'm gonna keep everything sort of like inside if the wind is gonna be picking up so oh sick. my gosh and you're looking at this right from the weather uh yeah no yeah, same, yeah looking, i just checked the weather and i'm hoping i can get up there still yeah i don't I know if you can i mean come up until the morning so i gotta i gotta see how the roads are because they might they might even like shut them down if it's this bad yeah i don't know if i'd want you driving in like that if it's going to be like that much of a wind gust and almost 15 inches right. of snow that's crazy yeah i mean I, a worst case scenario is i'm i'm gonna have to just muster this um by myself and then come back down once everything kind of opens up do you know what i mean we might have to I'm, let me I'll, I'll keep tabs on the weather hopefully it's not too bad i can make it oh no uh, definitely 
Let's stay close up, stay in touch. And, um, yeah, I'm, I, what I'm going to do right now is just go out and put the chair back in because if it's going to snow, I may even bring the bear in because if it's going to be like snowing in the morning, it's like he's going to be covered. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah. All right, well, I love you. Love you, babe. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could get up to 15 inches of snow, and he's not here. Ah! He left me alone. He left me all alone. Well, we got two cats. Oh, my God. And and technically, this is the first snow storm we've ever been in. Now, we've been in snow, but this is a... a a snowstorm and of course I'm gonna muster this by myself well I got you guys with me so yikes I better get those chairs in mm. Ugh, thank God for good wine Oof. okay so quick update the wind has picked up and so if we are gonna get into a blizzard I think we're gonna be okay I went grocery shopping for two. It looks like it's just gonna be me up here. And before coming up here, I filled the fresh water tanks about 75%. So that should get us through at least till storm and they can clear the roads. But uh, oh yeah, they said about 50 miles an hour wind. So I secured stuff outside. So it's time now for us to wind down. We got the heat, it's nice and cozy. Get ready for bed, watch a little bit of Netflix after I do a little bit of work. Right, Bubbies? Right, Missies? Gubbiesies. Here's your mommy's there. You want you for baggies? Somebody's ready to probably play as soon as I turn up the lights. Anyway, good night, you guys. We'll see you in the morning. nothing like that first sip of coffee to really make you think you can get through the day so woke up this morning you guys quick update and it is snowing and it's accumulating so it looks like the weatherman is right this time and uh, Dave's gonna sit tight because looks like we're still in that winter storm warning and it's gonna be between 6 and 15 inches of snow so I'm gonna brave this alone up here with the kitties and you and we're gonna get through this so I feel a little bit better prepared uh, because we have food and I have food enough for two when I went shopping before coming up here. So I think it's time to get dressed and assess. Get dressed and assess. Get dressed and assess how much snow and what's going on. Anyway, good morning. Good morning, you two. Good morning, Bubby. So, okay, you're gonna hold down the fort. You're gonna make the bed today, right? You're in charge of making the bed. So I'm gonna be in charge of giving you a quick morning brushy. Yeah, you like brushy because you're so fluffy. Mommy gives you a good brushy because you love it. You love morning brushies. Mm -hmm. brush. Yes, you're gonna give me a roly polies. Yes. Oh, yes, mommy's cutie pies. Mommy's cutie pies. All right, I'll get you when you're rolling over next. Yeah, I like the brushing. I like when you brush my back. Nice. Gets rid of all that loose hair so I don't have hair balls. You know, I don't like to cough up hair balls in your bed. So keep brushing me, babe. Keep brushing me. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, there come the morning stretches. Say hello to everybody. Give kisses. Hello, everybody. Bailey says good morning. All right, mom's gonna get out in the snow and check it out out there. Here we go. All right, so I got me bag of winter clothes. Ah, uh, so you definitely need Ah, winter weather pants, which is like snow pants meets wind and rain. Check, you gotta make sure they still fit. Oh, ooh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, they still fit. <laughs> gloves, I right, have two pairs. I need the gloves that actually, these gloves that have hairs in them. They're actually gloves meets mittens, so they're functional so I can work, and then if my hands get cold, I can cover them up. Like, hello, mitten. Hey, you man, you man, man, you 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 man. Gloves check, hat check, coffee check. All right, let's go check it out. Man, you man, you man, you man, you. Let's go outside. Now I have to go get my boots. What's important? Put where? Keep the head, the chest, the back, and the feet warm, and you're in good shape.
Yeah, full force out in it. Now this place is definitely known, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen our last video, to have a, a lot of mountain lions, more than usual. The good thing about freshly packed snow is I can actually see prints um, before they get kind of either melted and I know exactly what they look like. So definitely gonna keep my eyes open for that. But this is just, whew, you can definitely feel the altitude because you're also up about 7,000 feet. But we are in a winter wonderland. You and me, me alone here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And I think I hear the plows on the street. So they, they do a fairly good job here. I guess keeping the streets clean, especially since you're kind of on this kind of incline decline to keep things safe. You're on a mountain, you know, but it's just, beautiful the weather right now and it's kind of a wetter snow i can see it's gonna toughen up later on because it's about 35 34 degrees so it's a little bit of a wet snow although it's accumulating pretty fast and it's supposed to continue on throughout the night so yeah this is where we're gonna be <laughs> for the next few nights we gotta make do with it i don't know i don't know if i'll go snowshoeing without dave by myself not sure how appealing that is knowing what we know here and the last time we were here we we're pretty freaking scared hearing the mountain lion stories and just hearing kind of creepy sound. So not sure. Now this time in particular, we're alone. So they could be off in a distance and it's so quiet up there now because there's not a lot of foot traffic. I don't want to be that first pair of feet walking up there. I don't know, just saying. So if you're daring, and I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable because it's early on in the day, I don't know. I may do a little hike up there uh, tomorrow once the snow kind of finishes, but right now it's kind of this wet snow. So I feel like I'm getting drenched and it's getting cold, but there's a lot of cool spots and nooks that you can, if you're willing to, hike up. And once you make it to the top of that, there's this really sort of nice flat highlands that you can overlook the mountains and see some of the mountains up there. It's pretty cool, at a better view. All right, so that is about as high as I'm gonna go right now. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna start heading back towards desert snow, um, maybe make some lunch and uh, shovel around the camp a little bit before it accumulates and gets too heavy where I'm not gonna be able to shovel at all. Especially since I don't have Dave, I'm strong, but he's stronger, just, just saying. But this is really beautiful and it's so peaceful right now, you know, I was pretty nervous at first, and now I'm realizing as long as I can sit tight, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any spots that are gonna fill up, which last time talking with the camp host, spots fill up pretty quickly here, but it's pretty empty. I actually just noticed we have a neighbor. He's way down there, or she's way down there, and uh, their cozy little spot. And uh, the host is here because look, just noticed there's someone who came in and plowed. And that's usually the host job. So things are looking somewhat up here, but we really haven't hit the I heard the wind's gonna pick up and it's gonna get a accumulate quite a bit later on. So hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, I'll be back here live reporting to you here on Let's Turn It Up World. <laughs> it almost looks fake, like perfectly round balls. Almost like fake snow, but it's not. It's just that it's a little more dense, I guess, because of the altitude as well. And not as soft and fluffy, but almost like little tiny mini snowballs. Hey! And look at this desert snow in the snow, baby. Wow. How you feeling, big boy, your first snowstorm? You look fantastic. You look great. You look great, bud. <laughs> so I didn't go back. I'm kind of enjoying being out in the snow. So I want to show you something. So if you decide to come here to Fletcher View, you can actually just get a fee envelope. And it's kind of some of the spots are first come first serve, which is the one that I nabbed. And you're allowed up to 14 days. So as long as you have the funds for it, you can stay here up to third. Uh, 14 days and that fee is $33 for the small space kind of like the one that I have and then what you do is you just take the fee envelope here put your fee in your designated spot clip out your coupon put in front of your space and then you drop it into this little bin here the pay fee here bin just just in case you're thinking hey where is this place at it looks really beautiful and snowy and lovely yeah Fletcher View campground okay really quick so i just connected with the camp host you know sometimes they have better radio systems and weather than i don't know most people so i asked her sorry i'm coming like back uphill here so i'm a little winded is the snow gonna hit 15 inches she said no we'll probably get about seven inches here it'll stop late tonight but lee canyon which is about 8500 feet up they're gonna get a foot of snow that's a ski area so that's crazy that's crazy but it's awesome! <laughs> so 
So even though Dave cannot be here with us in the snow, Hubby can still be here with us in the snow. So let's call, let's FaceTime him. Let's give him a quick FaceTime. Hey, hey what's up? Wow, it's really coming down. Yeah, you see, look, it's all over my head. Da -dun, da -na -na -na. Say hello to everybody. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's coming down. So I was just telling everyone we're going to get about six to seven inches here, according to the host. But up about 8,500 feet in Lee Canyon, it's going to be about a foot of snow. I'm sorry you can't be here, I know, but it's better, it's safer that you don't. The roads are kind of really weird. I walked out and just took a look at them. Um, they're plowing, they're doing a great job plowing, but it's coming down as fast as they're plowing. And it's like thick, it's like, it's almost like snowball. See, there's the host. There he is in the back, there he goes. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> um, but it, it's, it's almost coming down like ice balls, little mini snowballs. Yeah. Hey, well. All right, anyway, I love you. I'm gonna go. Snow! We all miss you. Love you. <laughs> all right, love you. Bye. Wow, that was so cool, see? And it's it's gonna continue. I feel better. I feel a little better. I'm connected with him. I can speak with him. You guys can speak with him. Ah, uh, I think it's time for some lunch. I'm freezing, time to go in. So, <laughs> Before we fully call it a good evening and head in, stay warm for the rest of the night inside desert snow back there. Just a quick little update. You can see it is still coming down and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cold right now. So it's actually turning into more of that fluffy type snow. But you could see like, look, all the trees, the roads are covered once again and it's coming down. And of course with the wind, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. But I, one thing I've, learned you know originally coming from new england here is you got to be prepared so i have layers upon layers on multiple sweatshirts um this is just a kind of a neck gaiter to kind of keep your neck warm and my hat unfortunately is all soaking wet but look how look at that I, there's no signs of it stopping right now they say tonight but uh I'm gonna see if I can take the, I'm gonna take Droney up and maybe you can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like above sort of that peak. Boy, it's really coming down. <laughs> looks good. Oh, and for those of you wondering, like how is our heat holding up in here? Well, I have it at about a steady 68 degrees. Um, I lowered it a little bit to 67 during the day. And then I have a uh, small space heater, so it keeps it nice and toasty in there, sort of a balance. I'm not using up too much of the propane. Um, I am gonna use an induction cooktop inside since I am plugged in here, which is great. Look at that, already fully covered. I'm looking like Tanya the snowwoman, but it stays nice and toasty. So I'm gonna show you in a little bit how much propane I use as it's been kind of running constantly, but it stays so warm in there because the insulation in desert snow. So he's kind of made for this weather. And so am I, that's why I'm out in it. <laughs> had to heat about 67 uh, most of the night during the day I might lower it to 65 and there's the temp stick you know it's kind of a makeshift thing that I have there a little tape just so I can monitor the actual temperatures at when this shuts off because this here is the um, thermostat so once the temperature reaches 67 degrees it cuts off and so it's pretty insulated in here one thing that I do is I'll put up this thermal blanket you see here as well which also helps to uh, decrease the cold air on this compartment which since Dave is not with me right now I don't really need to utilize that front space except I can use it as extra storage so 
Oh, and one other thing. I'll show you two more things. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the last reading was about 426. It's 441 right now, and it says about 66.5. So it's pretty accurate in terms of the heat in here. So it's nice and cozy. So with it being super cold outside, let me zoom in on that right there. You see the Mopika, let's see how much uh, gas you've used. So I still have one full tank and I've only touched maybe like a quarter of it right there. So I have tons left uh, in there as well. And this has been kind of running throughout the day, the heat. So we're in good shape. Thumbs up plus, look, I'm in a t-shirt. I'm in my Rise of Resistance t-shirt, super comfy. I mean, look, and cozy. Everybody's cozy. I mean, even Brady's cozy. Ugh. Ooh, but that is, is that stretching? Is that a position? I don't even want to ask what you're doing over there. Cleaning himself, doing the clean. And of course there's nappy, nappy lady. She just loves to sleep all day and play. I just probably wore out from playing with her little flamingo. I did some flamingo chasing today. Oh, flamingo chasing. I get you a gotcha, 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 flamingo. Just don't turn upside down and you get the wrong impression. <laughs> uh, now before I start dinner, Today's my band workout day. A friend of mine, Christine, from uh, Irene Iron Travels, is really trying to get me into shape, and I feel it's been it's been great. So, what do we have on the dinner menu for tonight? Well, we're gonna have chicken stir fry. So I got some chicken strips already pre-cut. Some uh, vegetables, a whole bunch of assortment of vegetables in there. Now it's interesting because I've never cooked inside the RV except one time I made breakfast a long time ago. Obviously, because I don't like to make a mess. It's a small kitchen space. I usually cook outside. But since it's like a blizzard out there right now, we're gonna cook inside. So I'm trying to like makeshift things. Like, okay, here's my pad for the wall so it doesn't go spilling. And then I'm gonna cover when it cooks. I'm gonna use some aluminum foil. Um, to kind of cover on top while it cooks to keep it from splashing all over the place. That's having a lot of work to clean up afterwards. So anyway, that's the plan. So let's get cooking. Okay, I never had this happen before. So I tried to open up the vent, the max vent, to get some circulation in here while I'm cooking. So it cooks up and it did not pop. And I think it's because it's frozen. I mean, obviously it's the only time it's it's been in the ice and snow like this, so I think it's frozen. So, hmm, what do we do? I have a good old blow dryer. Let's see if that does it. Oh, just walk it around. <laughs> oh, the joys. The joy of the joys of the RV life. And I could crack a window. Okay, so that did not work. So we're gonna crack a window, maybe the door while we cook. But hey, if you have any ideas on how to unstick a Max fan when it's snowing, besides going up on the slippery roof, leave them in the comments below because I would really appreciate that. I'm about to have some chicken stir fry, a little side of organic spinach, and I'm gonna pop open this and do a little Netflix and chill. It's been quite a day. It's still snowing outside, which is, it's somewhat kind of serene in a way. You look out the window and you see this beautiful white snow and it's nice and toasty in here. So I am exhausted, you guys. What a day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Dave would approve. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so the sun is shining, the skies are blue, the storm is over, but um, I'm still buried in all that.
my God. All right, this has been quite an experience. You know, I had no idea what I was getting into coming up here. And then of course, Dave not being able to come up here because of a snowstorm. You know, Dave does a lot of the work on the outside, handling things like turning on the propane and setting things up out here while I do the stuff on the inside. So I had to kind of pace and take things one step at a time. And you know what? We did it. We made it through the snowstorm. Uh, uh, uh. We made it through the snowstorm. Now one thing I have to make it through is cleaning off this day of RV. There's a lot to do. So the sun is shifting. Um, it's gonna be getting dark at some point. You know, it gets dark early here up in Mount Charleston. So that means it's gonna start getting cooler and the roads are wet. So I don't want that to turn to slick stuff. So I am going to clean off this RV, head out down into the valley so I can meet Dave. I'm so excited to see him. All right, you guys, we'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.